This is my OG Wii Remote that I got alongside my original Nintendo Wii back in 2009. It still works wonders in nearly all aspects. The motion controls and buttons still function flawlessly. However, the port below is a whole other story. While still being functional, it's not in a playable state. I cannot play Wii Boxing without it disconnecting at least 30 seconds into a match. So you know what I'm going to do about that? I'm going to push this Wii Remote and Nunchuck to its absolute limit and see if I can climb from zero skill points all the way to mat without losing a single match. And this means we cannot press restart at any time. We either climb to the top flawlessly or die trying. Can I defeat Matt before my Wii Remote and Nunchuck decides to give up on me? Let's find out. The first match against Ryan, as you would expect, was extremely easy. Honestly, I think you could probably beat this guy without using the Nunchuck, because fun fact, if the Nunchuck disconnects at any time during gameplay, the game does not stop and tell you to reconnect it. It will just carry on while your character is holding up their fist for no reason. Spoiler alert, this happened to me a lot during this challenge, forcing me to pause the game and having to fiddle around with it until it reconnects. And this was extremely frustrating to deal with later on, because naturally, the later opponents at the higher ranks get very aggressive. Next up was Marco, who for some reason was easier to beat than Ryan? Seriously, even Ryan managed to get back up on his feet at least once. And he's like the main punching bag in the Wii Sports series, both here and in Swordplay in Wii Sports Resort. Martin was the first fight where the Wiimote and Nunchuck decided to show not signs of not wanting to work. I had to fiddle around with it for the first time in this challenge, and after it decided to reconnect, I was able to finish off Martin pretty easily. My fight against Steve was also pretty quick and trivial, but throughout the match, I was asking a couple of questions. Can you actually wear glasses in a boxing match? Can someone confirm that to me in the comments below, please? Did he punch me in the nuts before I knocked him down? He deserved that. He nut shotted me. Okay, no, okay, never mind. It wasn't in the nuts. It looked like it from my angle. Just before I could take down Chris for the first time in this fight, my nunchuck once again decided to pretend that it wasn't connected again. But after fiddling with it some more, it reconnected and I was able to knock him down. But Chris actually decided to get back up and take the fight to round two. My nunchuck disconnected again right after I knocked down Chris a second time. So I at least had some time to get it going again, just in case Chris got back up again, which he did and he managed to take this match to the third and final round. With my health bar being almost completely empty at this point, I knew I had to finish it quickly, because to be honest, during this entire challenge, I did not know how the play again back up was decided. Did I have to shake the Wiimote and nunchuck as furiously as possible, or was it decided entirely at random? Let me know in the comments below how it all works, but throughout this entire run, I went with the belief that I had to shake the Wiimote and nunchuck, since that's what I did as a kid. I knocked down David twice during the first round, but unfortunately couldn't take it down a third time as he was saved by the bell. Although, it probably wouldn't have mattered much if I knocked him down again, because TKOs are not a thing in Wii Sports Boxing for some reason. But then as soon as round 2 began, I finished him off instantly. Seriously, just as soon as the round began, you could see both of us running out from both sides of the ring during the replay. My match against Daisuk was when the nunchuck was starting to get on my nerves a bit. It began with it randomly disconnecting, not even midway into the first round, and right before I could knock him down for the first time. Defeating him got me past 500 skill level points, and considering that means we've still got a long way to go to reach Matt, this journey is probably going to get more annoying. Next is Emma, and I don't really have much to say about this fight. This one was somehow easier to win than Daisuk, and her skill level was 666. Victor was another uneventful battle with some slight annoyances, but just like David, I finished him off, as soon as round two began. Then came Catherine, which started off not so bad, but during the second round, she did it. After knocking her down twice, she got back up and proceeded to knock me down for the first time in this challenge. I thankfully got back up and after knocking her down again in the following round, I won the match. Luca was a similar story. I knocked him down, he got back up. He knocked me down not long after, I also got back up. And during the final round, just when I thought I won, he gets back up and actually takes it to decisions. I may have won, but winning by decision unfortunately results in me earning fewer skill points than I would otherwise. As soon as my match with Nick began, 
the nunchuck immediately decided to play games with me, even doing this on the pause screen. This happened quite frequently throughout the first round, resulting in Nick being able to score some free punches on me and having to pause the game multiple times to keep fiddling around with the nunchuck to get it going again. This didn't happen as frequently as it did in the following rounds, and midway to round 3, I knocked out Nick, and my next opponent is the guy whose name I'm not even sure I could pronounce correctly. This fight was thankfully not as annoying as Nick's, because the nunchuck did not disconnect at all during the first round. One hiccup in the following round later, I knocked out Tatsuwaki. Let me know in the comments below if I butchered the pronunciation or not. Neither me or Haley managed to knock each other down during the first round, but after I managed to score the first knockdown during round 2, the nunchuck remembered that it was meant to be annoying me during my climb up the ranks. I managed to get back up once again and score the KO during the third and final round. Alex was the first pro rank opponent I had to fight, which started off pretty easy, but after I scored my first knockdown of the match, it began to happen again, all throughout the rest of round 1 and the entirety of round 2. And despite coming close to being knocked down myself during the last round, I managed to pull through and defeat Alex. Michael was slightly easier to deal with than Alex, mainly because the nunchuck stayed connected throughout a majority of the match. Winning got me past 1000 skill level points, advancing me to the pro rank. And then came Tyrone, who during the second round somehow managed to read most of my movements like a book, scoring him a knockdown. I thankfully was able to get back up and score a knockdown back on Tyrone, which wasn't enough to score me the KO, and he was able to keep the fight going on until it ended up coming to a decision. I somehow won all three rounds, which surprised me, considering how much damage Tyrone did to me throughout a majority of round two. Regardless, I won by decision, and my next opponent was Pierre, who despite the annoyances I'd been facing throughout this entire challenge, was easier to fight than Tyrone. I managed to knock him out during the second round. The fight against Rachel went just as well as my previous fight with Pierre, although the nunchuck annoyed me quite a bit throughout the duration of the first round. I knocked out Rachel in the latter half of round two, and my skill level is now over 1200. Round one with Subaru was just madness throughout the first half of it. I knocked him down before the bell rang, but of course, he gets back up, transitioning into round two. Something I didn't bring up yet is when another round begins, both players actually regain a small chunk of health, and if it wasn't for that, I likely would have been knocked down during the second round. So of course, round three is the round where I end up getting knocked down. I once again get back up, and with only eight seconds left on the timer, I knock out Subaru, and my next opponent is Sarah. I knocked her down midway into the first round, and during the counting, I thought to myself, there's no way I just beat her that quickly, because she got up at 8, way later than the pro rank me's I fought prior when I knocked them down for the first time. I knocked her down again during the second round, and this time, she got up at 6. Maybe the impact from this punch wasn't as brutal as the first knockdown? That time, she flipped over. So in response, she punched my character in the jaw, which was still not enough to stop me. One more round later, I win again. Next up was Eva, and despite the nunchuck being a lot more annoying than it was during my fight against Sarah, Eva still ended up being easier to beat. I knocked her out in the latter half of the second round, and up next is Yoko, who was slightly more easier to beat, mainly because this time, my nunchuck was behaving a lot better throughout the match. My next opponent though, was the person standing between me and my final opponent Matt, Alyssa. I don't know how, but when my nunchuck disconnected here for the first time during this match, I somehow scored a dodge, which is that slow motion effect which serves as a cue for the player to strike. Throughout nearly the entire duration of this challenge, I've been using this dodging strategy to score some easy damage on my opponents, and I can safely say that trying to dodge without the nunchuck being connected is torture. So I'm still a bit surprised that I somehow managed to pull it off here. I knock her down again later on in the round, but as expected, Alyssa manages to get back up, and during the second round, she manages to knock me down for the first time. I thankfully got back up, and managed to avoid getting knocked down throughout the rest of round 2 and round 3. A couple more knockdowns later, I scored the KO and won the match, meaning my next and final opponent is… Alyssa? Yeah, so it turns out I did not accumulate enough skill points in order to reach Matt immediately. During my second fight with Alyssa, it occurred to me that I need around at least 1500 points in order to reach Matt. At least, that's what I assumed was the minimum requirement to reach him. So I had to beat Alyssa again, and then again after that, because I still didn't score enough points after beating her a second time. But after my third win in a row, I passed the magic number, and at long last, Matt stood before me. But during the fight, the unthinkable happened. The nunchuck just stopped. I'm not kidding. I couldn't move my fist, 
I couldn't navigate the menu with a thumbstick. Nothing. I could still use the Wiimote's D-pad, which was what I was doing here, but the nunchuck? Nada. I think Alyssa stalled me long enough, to a point where I just couldn't continue anymore. So, I didn't. My run ended here. We're still playing. We're still in it. It's not over. Ten. No! And yeah, that's pretty much it. Matt, as expected, ended my absurdly long win streak. I guess it's true that legends like Matt do not die, or in this case, lose. But regardless, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss out on what's to come. Oh, and one last thing. To show proof that I did not click restart throughout the entirety of this challenge, I will link the full run through, unedited, in the description below. Well, mostly unedited, because I stopped the recording after I assumed it was all over during my first fight with Matt. But anyway, thanks for watching fellow pretzels and have a nice day. Bye!